She done spent the children's college fund. Kim got a problem. It's like she on crack. She like Chuck and Dineva over there sniffing up the, the stuff. I don't understand. Get ready, because you about to be an ATL-E-L-E-N. Uh, speaking of who ain't getting no money, Kim. K K K K K K K K K Kim. Where is your scooter? Where is your Rolls Royce? K K K Kim. The repo man is after Kim Zosiat, Beerman, and Croy for their Rolls Royce. Now you remember when um when Kim was trying to drag Nene when when Greg brought Nene a Rolls Royce back in the day and Kim was talking about Nene's Rolls Royce was parked in the handicap spot and she was acting like Nene had rented her Rolls Royce and all kind of stuff. Now Kim can't even afford to pay for her Rolls Royce. Ooh. So uh, on Radar Online, let me just let me just show you Radar Online, child. On Radar Online, Kim um, Zosiak Beerman and Croy Beerman are in the news because, of course, they're broke. We know that. We saw Croy's uh, bank statements a few weeks ago. Croy accused Kim of, you know, squandering all their money at the casino. She's, he said the kids ain't got no college fund no more. He said he can't even move out the house no more because he ain't got no money because she took all his money and be gambling all day long. Now it's being reported that K K K K K K K K K Kim Zosiak, um, uh, Croy's uh, Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce that is in Croy's name. Is behind on payments, and you will never guess how many payments he has. They have missed. Kim is being sued by BMW for missed payments on her Rolls Royce. She's been hit with a lawsuit for unpaid Rolls Royce bills. Okay, not Croy and the Rolls Royce. You know damn well Croy wasn't driving his Rolls Royce. It was KKK Kim. Okay. Anyway, oh, they got an update. But before we read the update, we're going to see this. Look at Kim and Croy in the Rolls Royce. Things went from bad to worse for Croy. Not only is he embroiled in an acrimonious divorce with Kim, he is now being sued for allegedly missing lease payments on a Rolls Royce. Now, who is leasing a Rolls Royce, Kim? Not NeNe Leaks. Kim Zosia is leasing a Rolls Royce. Okay, according to court documents obtained by TMZ, Croy hasn't paid a dime in months to BMW Financial Services to lease the company's 2020 Rolls Royce clinic. The docs say BMW execs demanded Croy return their $400,000 luxury SUV, but he thumbed his nose at them and kept it. Now he kept it. The suit also includes the purported lease agreement signed by both parties and goes into details about Croy's failures to make the monthly payments from July 2020 to July 2023 that he got with the Rolls Royce again. BMW claims Croy was supposed to turn over $5,297.64 each month for 36 months. Totaling $190,715.04. But Croy often came up short, and more recently, he didn't pay at all. BMW points out that Croy's last payment was made all the way back in September 2022. We in 2023. They didn't miss almost a year of payments. As a result, BMW is asking for a writ of possession. We know what that means because Cardi B got one against Tosh. <laughs> anyway, uh, give us back our damn vehicle, Croy. They also want the money they've lost out on. Meanwhile, Croy has been battling blah, blah, blah. Let me see what this update say. Update. Croy's attorney, Marlis Bergstrom, tells TMZ Mr. Beerman never imagined that he would find himself in this position having a car repossessed. But this is the fallout when folks find themselves spending way beyond their means. Croy retired and no longer receives that NFL salary. I don't think anyone told Kim. <laughs> no, they didn't write that. Bergstrom continues, when it comes to finances, Kim is detached from reality. Every month, 
Croy has to scratch enough money together to pay the mortgage to save the home from going into foreclosure. They are getting collection notices and now lawsuits on behalf of creditors. Kim continues to spend money on online gambling, wine, and things that are not necessities but luxuries. Well, now they will have one less luxury item. <laughs> not crush of the day to the black woman. <laughs> this is not funny, but it's funny. She has spent the children's college fund. Kim got a problem. It's like she on crack. She like junkie not even over there sniffing up the, the stuff. I don't understand. All these high dollar items are going to be hard for them to bounce back. And Croy even said he can't even move out the house because he ain't got no money. So now they both in the same house because they saved it out of foreclosure and neither one of them had nowhere to go. They ain't got no money. Remember just a week or two ago, they was arguing because Kim wanted Croy to take all of her pocketbooks out the safe because she needed to take them to the pawn shop or somewhere. I don't know. Then she's selling the wigs and Andy Cohen trying to help. Andy Cohen went and bought one of the $1,200 wigs to help Croy. But $1,200 ain't going to help them with this Rolls Royce payment, And You need to go ahead and send them 200 Gs and call it a day, okay? Because we know the Caucasians help each other. <laughs> they help each other. Uh, maybe Andy can buy more of the wigs, okay? Maybe. Bravo, this is the story. I guess, child, we don't want to see it. Um, I guess, listen, don't be tardy for them Rolls Royce payments. Listen, if it was, if we, if it was somebody this color, oh, I'm ashy. If it was somebody this color, listen, we can't even be 31 days late on, on our, on our BMW or our, <laughs> look, on our Mazda 626 or our Nissan Citra or our Jeep Wrangler. We can't even be 31 days late. The repo man is coming. Okay. How is he um, uh, almost a year late? On a four hundred thousand dollar car, rich people problems. They don't even come. Mm -mm. They ain't even coming to their house, honey. Guess they can't get in the gate. This bitch that lost it. Okay, this bitch that lost it. Andy can buy everything. Well, it is what it is. It's certainly white privilege, child. But anyway, hold on. Let me see what the people get. Uh, are you surprised that uh, Kim's uh, property is now in repo? <laughs> Who the ever thought that we'd be reporting on Kim and Croy getting their Rolls Royce repossessed? Like, listen, it's but it's still in the garage. They won't give it back. <laughs> they won't give it back. Right. We can't be 10 days late. They be blowing up our phones and stuff. I don't understand. I don't understand. I wonder Kim was mad. And how at the same time Kim wasn't paying for her Rolls Royce. She was online cursing us out, calling us weirdos and crazy because we said that her house was in foreclosure. Kim, you ain't got no house or no car now. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Uh, he can buy all them wigs and they're going to still be in the hole. Exactly, exactly. Big Papa, where are you? Big Papa they probably got him a nice, younger, blonde, white woman. <laughs> Big Papa got him a young white woman. He don't need Kim. Kim about 50. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she definitely called us broke. She did. She going back to the ghetto, honey. Maybe she could buy the house next to Candy's. I don't know. Uh, could have been, could have bought a van and a Benz and $500,000 house. That would have been smart. Child, but remember, I told you Croy wasn't making no money. Even his attorney said he does not play for the NFL no more, and he does not have an NFL salary. Clearly, Croy did not retire for the NFL. Croy ain't making no money. Where is he getting his money from? Guess he be selling. What they be selling? What happened to the um? Didn't he, she say Cashmere was a thirty million dollar company? What happened to Cashmere? What happened? We don't. What happened to it? We don't know. Anyway. Uh, Big Papa and Sweetie probably knocking boots. Sweetie got married. Sweetie got married a long time ago to a good Nigerian man, honey. Croy wanted all of those children. No, Kim gave Croy what he wanted, a whole lot of kids. And now the kids can't even eat. She just spent all the kids' money. Shout out to Minty Fresh for being a new member. <laughs>